Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my last trash for the year of 2018. Um, this is the last of it. Um, this is the products that I've used up for the month of December. And then when I'm done, I will be going over um, the totals of what I've used up for the whole year of 2018. I do keep um, like a trash journal if you will i do have a notebook here of um, what i've used up for the whole year i've been using this and keeping this notebook since 2015 so every month i keep track of how many empties i've used i sign them a monetary value and then i keep track of how much not only um, piece wise but dollar wise so anyway at the end i will let you know the grand total for the year of 2018. So we will get started. So first of all, I have a shower gel from um, Philosophy. This is the Cinnabons um, little shower gel, shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. Um, I found this at TJ Maxx. Um, I went and repurchased just for the fact that I just can't personally use this maybe just a couple times a week and then it really starts to irritate my skin. So I'm just gonna have to steer clear of this type of product. But my husband enjoyed it and I, I liked it. I just couldn't use it so I won't repurchase. Then I have my um, makeup remover wipes that you have seen all year long and definitely will repurchase. Then I've seen these at Walmart and I thought I would give these a try. They are baby wipes, but what intrigued me was that they are micellar. They had micellar water in them, or micellar water. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if these would make good um, just to use for makeup swatches, you know, that type of thing, since they have the micellar water in them. Because you got a double pack, so there was 72 in each pack for, I think it was like 450 or 498, something like that. No, not so much. Now, granted, they're not marketed as a makeup remover. You know, they're marketed for babies' little bottoms, but um, I didn't like them. They, they didn't take makeup off of your hand worth anything. So no, Dev did not like that for that. Then I finished up some little cotton squares. These are some that I had ordered from Wish Trend last year. And it's the multi-function cotton pads. And I would just use these with some of the various toners that I have that I like to use. Um, some of the toners I have, I like to put onto my cotton pad and then just kind of lay onto the skin and let kind of soak there. So these are some of the ones that I like to use those for and those were really good. Um, how many was in here? 70 cotton pads. So, and they're not expensive. I think they're like two or three dollars. And then from Claire's, I have a moisturizing cream. This is the Rich Moist Soothing Cream. This is a very hydrating moisture cream. Um, definitely very good, especially this time of year when we are all just getting so dehydrated from the forced heat that we're going in and out of, you know, between our homes, um, where we work, into our vehicles. Um, definitely need some extra, extra um, hydration and I did enjoy using this. I used it last winter and then I finished it off this winter and I definitely want to get some more of this. This product, um, I did not care for this. This is the Lancome Benefit UV um, SPF 50. Um, this was the um, sunscreen that I was using. Some days it would work just fine. It didn't irritate, but then other days it would burn my skin. I think it really depended on um, what treatments I was using of the morning time on whether or not it irritated, but um, I was glad to see that this was empty and that it's done and I don't have to use it anymore. Would not purchase that again. From Urban Decay, I have the um, Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Now this guy was very hard to work with. Um, you definitely had to have a very um, moisturized face <laughs> to get this to work. Um, or if you didn't have your skin wasn't very well prepped for this. It would make all of your 
foundation kind of ball up over it. And it really, I really had, every time I tried to use it, I would get some really, really bad breakouts. And I was bound and determined to finish this. And so I just continued to keep using it and using it this last go around. And I am still um, suffering from a really bad cystic breakout right here. Oh, and it just does not want to go away. And it's from this little guy right here because I was bound and determined I was going to finish this guy up. And I am paying the price for that. So I will not be repurchasing that. And then from uh, Misha, Time Revolution, the Treatment Essence. And this is in comparison as I have been researching and have read a lot of reviews is comparable to the SK2 Essence. Now I have not used that. Um, I did get in one of my little sample packs from, what was that from? Um, da, 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 da. Eamon Marcus, uh, like a little one ounce jar bottle of the SK2 Essence. But anyway, it's supposed to be very comparable to the SK2 Essence, but without that price tag. It is a fermented product. The only difference between the SK2 Essence and this one is this one does have some more added um, benefits, skin beneficial um, ingredients in it that's really good for the skin so I enjoyed it I thought it really helped the skin it took me a whole year to use it so it's very cost effective because I mean one it was inexpensive to use and two it was um, gosh it lasted forever it's in a little glass bottle so I would recommend it for sure now here's a product that I really did enjoy using, and I kind of grin about this. It's the Sunday Riley, Sunday Riley, Sunday Riley Floral um, Hydroactive Cellular Face Oil. I don't know, I don't see this on the Sephora website anymore, so I don't know if you can get it on her website or not. But now, this has, as most Sunday Riley products, <laughs> has a very distinctive odor to it. And it's definitely not for everybody. And my husband hated the smell of this. Oh my stars, he sure did hate the smell of this. Mm -mm -mm. And it definitely has, it has mm, a pretty stout smell to it. Mm, he hated it. And this is how he said it smelled like. Now how he knows how this smell is, I don't know, but he says it smells like um, fish pee. Now, how he knows what fish pee smells like, I don't know. But um, I was, I really enjoyed it as a nighttime oil. I really did. But he couldn't stand the smell of it. So I switched to using it during the day, but it was just too heavy during the day. So I would try to sneak it at night, but he would know if I had it. But um, I did use it up. I miss it. I miss it so bad, but um, I can't repurchase it. Now, if I ever was to be single and I could get this, I would then. <laughs> but I can't now, no. <laughs> but I did like it. And, and the smell didn't bother me. It didn't bother me at all, but he could not stand the smell of it. Um, I finished a IT Cosmetics CC Plus um, cream. I use this as my foundation. Now this one is in the color light. This one is the wrong color for me. I like the color fair, but this one had come in a kit or a today special value from QVC or something like that. But this is one of my favorite um, um, CC cream slash foundations. Have used it for a very long time and would definitely repurchase it. I don't have to because I have a different one right now that I'm using. That's a CC cream, the illumination one. But once I'm done with it, it's the one that's in fair light. When I'm done with that, I'm just going to go back to the regular one in fair because that one's even a little bit too dark. I don't have that one on today. I have a different product on that I'm kind of testing out. Then I have a deodorant that I finished up from Degree, a toothpaste, and it's all crinkly because I got my little um, tube ringer out and just wrung the snot out of it to try to get every last drop of it because this stuff is expensive. It's the Colgate Optic White, high impact white. 
um, to try and get my teeth whiter because um, I would at this point tell you because I drink a lot of Diet Coke, which y'all have all seen me drink Diet Coke here on my videos. And I, um, I don't know if I should say I'm happy to tell you that I no longer drink Diet Coke or if I should be, I'm really sad to tell you I don't drink Diet Coke anymore, but um, I've been putting on some new medication and the medication, I will tell you when I was being prescribed it from my this doctor, he was like, now your tastes are gonna change. And he goes, you're not gonna like Coke anymore. And I was thinking in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, I don't drink Coke, I drink Diet Coke. And um, I'm sorry, nothing's gonna make me not like Diet Coke. Cause I've been drinking Diet Coke for years and I live on Diet Coke. I mean, you know, my family has always made a joke that if I ever get put in the hospital, they're going to put Diet Coke in the, in the IV and run it through my veins because that's what's in my vein is um, Diet Coke. They wouldn't have to give me blood transfusion. They would have to give me Diet Coke transfusion. Anyway, um, I can't stand it. I cannot stand the taste of it. It makes me, it tastes horrible, absolutely horrible. And it's not just Diet Coke, it's all pop. It's disgusting and I would never ever have believed in a million years I would be sitting here telling you that the my beverage of choice now is just plain old water just water that's what I want to drink that's what I want to drink that's all I want to drink that's the only thing that tastes good to me now is water <laughs> and I've never been a water drinker ever 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 so that's what I'm drinking now so anyway anyway toothpaste definitely will repurchase um I don't know if I'm going to have to continue to get the Opti White because I'm not having the Diet Coke staining my teeth all the time now. So anyway, oh, this, this product is really good. And once I get done with all of my cleansers that I have in my collection, you know, all the little sample sizes I have and all the little backups of full sizes I have, I am going to get the full size of this. And it's the It Confidence in a Cleanser. This is really good this didn't irritate it was moisturizing it didn't really foam up so it wasn't drying my husband even liked this it was um, gentle for all skin types and I thought it said yes it's a cleansing serum a skin transforming hydrating cleansing serum and yes and you can get this size two for $12 at Sephora so you could try it for 12 bucks and this is a 1.7 ounce, 50 mil. And I think the full size is like $28, $38, something like that. Not for sure. But yes, I really did like that. That was good. And then from IT Cosmetics, I have the um, IT number seven, or not number seven, number 50 serum. And this is also a primer. It's the anti-aging collagen veil primer. It was okay. I don't think I would... It didn't wow me enough that I want to um, go out and get another one and keep using it. It was okay. Now this little guy, um, I'm on my like third bottle of this. And this is the I'm From Magnolia Wake Essence. And you would have seen me just haul um, a new bottle of this and a bottle for my daughter. She likes it too. She's probably like on her third bottle too. But oh, this is a really good... I say essence is thick enough that it's not really okay my bat my camera cut me off I don't know why but anyway I was talking about this and how it's not really an essence it's more of a serum so that's how I use it I use it as a morning serum so the next product I have is from Colleen Rothschild and this is a mandelic acid and I would use this at, at night as an acid product and not every night just maybe a couple times a week as an exfoliating product and I probably won't repurchase because um, the ordinary has a product a mandelic acid that works just as well and um, providing that we can get the ordinary so anyway won't repurchase Then I have a product from Sephora, which is a eyebrow product, and I used up the brow portion or the powder portion of it. This is just the wax. I never used that. I didn't like it. 
but I did finish up the powder. Um, they don't carry that anymore, so obviously we can't purchase or repurchase. Then I have a product from Becca, and this is a concealer. And I did not can, um, care for this. This is one of the aqua luminizing luminous one. I didn't like it, so I finna took the little stopper out and just tried to use it as a foundation just so I could use it up. I wouldn't repurchase it. And then the last thing I have in here is from Cosmodex, and it is the Opti Crystal Eye Serum. And I think this is one of the first things that I was selected to receive from um, Octoly. And this was just a little eye cream or serum, and I would use this in the morning. I would, this probably lasted me at least a year because you just needed like a pin size, a pinhead size <laughs> of this stuff under each eye, and it just really helped to brighten underneath the eye. And even the direction says to just use a pinhead size which is good because this stuff is expensive. It's like $95. So it's a good thing it lasted a whole year. So, but anyway, it's really good. But I don't know if I'm going to repurchase. But man, I do miss it now that it's gone. But I did like it. Okay, <laughs> we're going to try this ending again. My camera keeps shutting off. I need a new cord that goes from my camera to my um, laptop here. Anyway, okay, so my grand totals for 2018, my total pieces used, and this is the full size, the samples, which is like those little foil packs, um, deluxe size samples, is 297 pieces. My sheet mask totals, and that's um, full size mask, sheet mask, and that's also the little eye mask I put underneath here, those little eye patches, was 312 that I used for the total of 2018. So my grand total dollar amount, da 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 da, drum roll was $5,065. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Um, yes, so a total of 609 pieces, that's all of it added together and $5,065. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But anyway, so that is it for all of my trash for 2018. Um, I hope that you enjoyed all of my trash days for um, the year. Um, my trash days will continue through 2019. Probably one of my favorite videos to film, actually, if I'm honest with you. I like going through my trash. I like going through and looking at and seeing how much I used up and what the dollar amount was and yeah. Anyway, so thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed and if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please do and um, hope you had a happy new year and we'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.